Unanimous request to speak for one minute to revise and extend my remarks. The gentleman from Wisconsin is recognized for one minute. One of the problems we have in society that came to light is the people who influence public opinion are, particularly when funded by the government, too much, in my opinion, in favor of the left. Public universities certainly should be given a very uh, even distribution of information. Recently, in an underpublished story, a great guy, a, a liberal guy, Yuri Berliner, senior business editor of NPR, uh, reviewed the um, party uh, designation of 87 members in the local NPR office. I asked people, how many do you think are registered Democrat, how many Republican? People laugh, oh, of those 87, ha, oh, oh. I bet 84 are, are Democrat and three are Republican. Actually, it's 87 and zero. Now, I respect Yuri Berliner, a liberal, for digging out this information. But can you imagine, right now, there is such a completely lack of diversity in the type of people who disseminate how to deal with the issues today that the NPR local office is made up of 87 Democrats and zero Republicans. I hope everybody in this chamber, not only in the field of education, but in, apparently also in the field of broadcast news, realizes we have a fundamental problem in this country and that we have no Gentleman's diversity in the newsroom or in the faculty lounge. Thank you. For what purpose does the gentleman from New York seek recognition?